Can I beat Cuphead only using the twist up? To be honest, I'm not too sure. I'm not even confident the developers intended people to use this shot. There's no way they made this and were like, yeah, people will use this. This will be effective in game. Besides that fact, I will be attempting to 300% Cuphead only using the twist up. Already one of the toughest bosses in the game? What if you just- what if you just can't shoot the guy? What if you just can't shoot him? Consider that! There is a chance that this will take years off my life, so if you enjoy, press the white subscribe button for me. I'm- I'm trying to put food on the table. To get started, I needed to beat every boss on regular, but that is no fun for you to watch! So, between you and me, why don't we just skip to the meat of this video? Would you look at that? Three hours have passed. Ah! Holy beans! To fill you all in, all I did was pick up some loose change, stimulate the economy, beat up this guy's family members, he paid me for my services, I stimulated the economy some more, and everything else. You- you get the gist. There she is. To put it into layman's terms, I did the easy part. Now I was ready to go in with a full head of steam. All that was left to do was beat the game on expert with the twist up. Take this! <laughs> This is gonna suck so bad. The first two bosses, the Root Peck and Gloobie, were easy as usual, and had me very optimistic for the rest of the bosses to come. Man, man this sucks. You see, the problem with the twist up is that, is the whole thing. <laughs> the main issue is not being able to hit what is right in front of you. This is, look I can't hit that firefly, I can't hit him, I can't hit him! I can't hit him, he's right there! Even so, I was able to withstand a long final phase on Gibby and Toad. Okay, we did it! We did it! You know what? It wasn't fun, and I didn't like it. Then I worked my way across aisle one, and surprisingly beat the flower on the first try. Mainly because their forehead has a large hitbox. Nice! That's the first aisle! Nice! That's the first aisle! Nice! That's the first aisle! See, I'm recording extra reactions for YouTube. That's one thing that most people don't know is everything is fake. I'm not even doing this challenge right now. Now, over in aisle two, I first have to face off with Blanton the Clown. And you know, what's funny about this guy is this logically doesn't make sense. Let's make a shot that just kind of goes forward and then up. You know, we can shoot up, right? It just goes forward enough so that it could just go right over his <laughs> Said, this is the worst thing ever. Okay, here we go. Second phase time, baby. I'm excited for the second phase. Everything past the first phase isn't that bad. Oh, we are chilling. Okay, you can die now, though. Yes. Yes. Next up on my hit list was the Baroness. The only way I was going to defeat her was if she didn't send out the ice cream guy. You can go down now. You can barely hit him. And even with the shot that goes up, I have to per perfectly angle it. Hello? <laughs> you know, that's my personal space. All right. Gumball machine time, please. This is the worst thing that could have happened. There we go, man. That might have been a nice rank. Oh, that might have been a nice rank. No. It wasn't. At this point, things were going shockingly well. You could tell because I'd yet to contemplate whether or not the world would be a better place without me in it. But now the next boss, Grim Matchstick, was set up to be the hardest boss I'd faced yet. Any human with a brain and eyes could see how, how this would be difficult. He just nicked me with his towel. He nicked me with his towel. This boss required me to do something I hadn't done in a while. Think. Yes, dude! That is how you game! That is how you game! That is how you game! That's how you think outside the box and you and you were weaving it out of the box and you and you say, what if I just don't shoot him? That is how you think outside the box and you take four minutes and forty-six seconds to beat one boss, but then you do it. So so it's okay. 
You do it before it even crosses four hours and you get a C grade, but that's passing. That's passing, C is passing. After getting past Grimm as quickly as I did, I had an unmatched level of confidence. Confidence only rivaled by Mark Wahlberg. And I used it to walk straight past the B boss and take on Captain Bitchbeard. And I beat him first, second try, cause he's a, cause, cause he's a little bit. Using that momentum, I walked into the B boss fight like a, like a play a pimp gangster or something. Like a Rizzler or something. Like a... <laughs> like a Rizzler or something. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! Bi Next on the menu was the cat and mouse. And you're probably thinking that that mouse have been easy. Oh god. That is like, that is like two strikes. First was the Rizzler thing and... Oh god. Now it was time to take on the final boss of aisle three. Here. I forgot to do Sally stage play. Third. Unfortunately, I remembered Sally stage play's existence, so I killed her and forgot about her all over again. After the cat and mouse, the next boss was the ghost train, which I also beat super easily. And after defeating it, I offer a quick guide on how I did it. It's just all those, like, all the parts of that boss are really easy to hit with the up the twist up after that i stepped foot into inkwell hell and it was business as usual i mopped the floor with these guys i mopped the floor with these guys every time king dice is a piece of cake as long as you don't fight the cigar i i i i, <laughs> I may have a learning a learning disability there i, I can't hit him what what, are, what am i doing <laughs> what am i doing what am i doing Am I in control? Do I have a problem? I have to roll a two. Yes! 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 There he goes. And for the devil, I just wish the fight was a bit more climactic. But instead, this, this silly little goofball only took two tries. Perry, Perry, Perry! Perry the platter! Perry the platypus! Okay. With only the DLC bosses remaining, I was feeling pretty good. Let's just say I was feeling pretty good. I mean, I was beating boss after boss with ease. And since the twist up was added as part of the DLC, these last few bosses may have been designed with the twist up in mind. Like maybe. I wouldn't say they did a good job though. But with that said, the first boss in aisle four went down pretty easy. Dude, why is this not dead? The dance is over. There's no excuse. You couldn't handle the giggle juice. What the f does that mean? There are so many balls on my screen. <laughs> Me went on Pornhub. <laughs> Knockout. And then the dogs went down pretty quickly as well. Hey, yeah. Yeah! If I didn't know any better, I would have thought the twist up was good. With how fast things are going, I might finish this challenge in under six hours. I might try switching this chalice. There we go. Miss Chalice was obviously the play. Why didn't I switch to Miss Chalice earlier? Now that that hell was behind me, I worked my way just a bit up north to Glowstone the Giant. The fun part about this boss is that all of the shots surf over his forehead. What just happened? I don't understand. There was no way. What the hell? <laughs> there we go now all that was left was the salt baker every run i do it seems like everything just leads up to this the salt baker has been far and away the biggest problem for me in these challenge videos yes dude come on first try first try question mark parentheses first try question mark parentheses first try the number one try the first one that i did the first try that i attempted on the guy i did it that's it that's it for me i'm done i'm done again